Notion looks great now even more after the latest big update bringing timeline views and a lot of quality of life tweaks but what if we could make it look even better and we could add some neat feature to it that's where the third party notion enhancer tool comes in let's take a look Nadza here, bringing to you some Notion productivity content this time. And uh, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel, it helps a lot. Many of you watching my content are not subscribed and if you like it, think about it. It's greatly appreciated. Let's move on to the video. You can find the Notion Enhancer on this GitHub page. I will link it down in the description below and um, in order to be able to install it uh, first of all we have to check that uh, we don't have the Notion desktop app running um, this tool only works uh, on the desktop app uh, for both um, Windows Mac and also for Linux and then we'll need to install Node.js if you don't have it already on your system. Uh, this LTS version is uh, good enough. So just download it and follow the installation process. Uh, I don't need to tell you uh, much about it, just a regular installation process as always. Once we have Node.js installed in our system, uh, we don't probably need to um, reboot in this case, but um, we can jump in the command prompt. So on Windows, we can press the Windows key and type CMD, enter, and this is our command prompt. And here, we can copy the this command here the npm you can see here back to the command prompt once we have our command written down we can click enter and the installation process will begin in a few seconds uh, the notion enhancer will be in our system now we can type Notion Enhancer and help and we will see the list of commands available so we can type apply, remove and check so we can type Notion Enhancer check and we have the confirmation message that the version 0.10 is applied on our system. So we can jump to the Notion desktop app and we will see immediately a few changes by default applied by this tool. Let me grab my uh, Notion app on this screen and you will see that we have the minimize and the close buttons here integrated into the interface a different management of the colors applied to the different databases and areas uh, so you can see that even if this toggle here is green the text inside of the uh, pages is um, white it's a bit more readable everything is arranged a little bit differently uh, something I really like aesthetically is that um, you don't see uh, the, the bars um, you can find around the different uh, databases are a lot better they look a lot better compared to the default ones and these are just the 
uh, default enhancement applied uh, once you install the tool but if we click um, alt e we get the um, enhancer menu so we have this little floating window with a lot of settings so let's have a look we have the search bar so we can filter quickly the different settings we are looking for we can have we have a bunch of toggles here in order to filter the different um, tools available and so we have the core features so we have theme conflicts um, this toggle resolves uh, automatically uh, conflicts with different themes we can apply to our notion desktop app we will see a bunch of um, themes in a minute uh, and then we have the toggle for hiding the notion app on open and you can see a bunch of other um, options like this one and uh, something i really like is the tabs we will enable and we will see unfortunately this um, feature is probably the most buggy at the moment apparently um, you could encounter a lot of bugs using this tool but for now let's see the other features available because there are a lot and many of them are really nice we have the different tweaks we can apply so snap your transitions more readable line spacing we can finally hide the help button here we don't really need and we don't really like all the time there we can enable uh, always on top feature that will pop up here we have some uh, different styling for the links we can decide to jump directly full screen when we click the database entries enabling this bypass preview we can have infinite scroll for the calendar view and here we have the first themes available so we have the cherry cola and then the dark plus these different tools as you can see are built by different developers and put together in a full package they are sorted alphabetically so you will find themes between settings extensions and other stuff we can have more emoji sets very different emoji sets are available we can enable the focus mode that hides everything about the interface when we have the sidebar closed we can choose a different font for our notion pages we have other themes we have a really nice extension for right to left text in many languages this can be really helpful and finally we have the scroll to top that i really like this weekly view it's awesome we will see it also in a few minutes and the word counter we can have the number of words character and sentences counted inside our pages let's enable uh, emoji set like for example the google one and let's enable also a theme like this dracula here once we are 
happy with our selections and the things we enabled or disabled we can go to the top of this window and click the up relaunch it will reboot the notion desktop app and everything we enabled is now here so we can see we have the tabs that are really really good and awesome to use unfortunately a lot buggy uh, so for example I can have my home page and also my web clips on another tab and I can really easily switch between the two as you can see the theme has been applied the text is a little bit different the color scheme is different we have this subtle shadow and everything looks a lot different we have the always on top here so even if I'm trying to click the comment prompt as you can see my notion window stays on top and I can disable it clicking again the same arrow and everything goes back to normal and then we have the scroll to top icon instead of the help icon here down here really helpful so the text is different the highlight for the different colors different apart from the graphical tweaks what i really like about this tool is the amount of little tweaks that provides like the scroll to top the always on top button the tabs are awesome and the interface overall seems cleaner a lot nicer to work with even if you don't apply any of the provided themes keep in mind that the tool is not as stable as I would like to most of the times if we go back here in the settings and change other stuff and change also the theme when you change the theme you will have this message telling you that you have two themes applied so you have to choose which one to apply between the two so let's disable the Dracula and you can enable this auto resolve theme and what it does is just that let's try to relaunch the app and as I planned the app crashed the problem most of the times is due to multiple tabs the desktop app doesn't like multiple tabs so uh, what you have to keep in mind usually it's to close uh, additional tabs before closing the notion app that should solve the problem unfortunately when this happens you can do much we can try to um, reboot again the application but we should have the same issue so the only thing we can do is to close it again come back here to our common prompt and type notion enhancer and um, remove as you can see here let's confirm and we are now back to the official app as it is everything is back to normal 
and we can close it again and simply this time because notion and answer it's already present in our system you can just write notion and answer apply and the enhancer is back on reopen the notion app and we are back with the default applied settings from the enhancer with the defaults you should be quite fine let me go back to the settings and apply a bunch of stuff so let's keep the tabs alone for now the always on top it's fine the let's try the bypass pre preview the calendar scroll I want to show you that one the weekly view and scroll to top it's fine let's go back to the beginning and relaunch the app so now we enabled the weekly schedule and this is a nice view that you can create simply making a new calendar view and call it weekly once you call this view weekly and you go to it you will have this fantastic seven days view that it's perfect for managing your week and your appointment and your task in order to try the calendar infinite scroll we have to be in a full page database so now we can just infinitely scroll down and add as many uh, appointments as we want if you want to know more about all the extensions provided by this tool you can jump back to the github page and after the installation part you will find all the features available and all the commands available and then you can see the tabs you can see different tricks you can apply and a lot of details it's really well documented i definitely recommend you to take a look at it and um, and see by yourself which settings you like most you need most but i think that it's a really nice package it provides a lot of really interesting solutions and uh, enhancement for our beloved application I really hope you enjoyed this brief overview of this tool and um, see you to the next one